Hello, this is Andrew with Missing Remote. Yesterday, although I don't remember seeing it yesterday, Ubiquity made the Unify OS for the Dream Machines 2.5.17 kind of public. It's in release candidate, which means that I think everybody can go look at it. You can see here I'm not signed in, so it's public, 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 public-ish. Don't know. There's a lot of good stuff here. I did not talk about the first two series, 2X release, for the UDMs. I probably should have, but I got distracted. And there was, really wasn't a whole lot going on there to, to mention. Although, some interest, really interesting things happened in the 2 release, with the biggest one being that they changed the way that the applications, I should probably talk a little bit about that. So previous to 2 in the 1X series, each one of these guys, these network, protect, UID, whatever, each one of these things sat in its own container. That's not true anymore. They fundamentally changed the way that the UDM hosts these applications. And they fundamentally changed the underlying operating system as well, which is why it was so important for them to get it right and why it took so long for them to get it started, done, right in the migration. Um, these things aren't in containers anymore. All of your old Unify or UDM commands, those don't work anymore. Uh, I want to say this is all hosted in Node now, directly on the metal, uh, but I haven't been able to get good information from UI support on what new commands exist. They just had me run one uh, when it didn't, the migration to 2.4, whatever it was, didn't work quite right for me, but I'm kind of getting off on a tangent. Anyway, the most important thing from all of that, and probably why they did it, is that at least in my experience on my UDM Pro, my CPU load and my memory consumption and my CPU temperature have all gone down significantly since they moved from the container approach on the 1X line to this hosted on the metal thing, which totally makes sense because each one of those containers would have had its own you know, memory and processor requirements just for like baseline functionality. Personally, I see all of that as a good thing, especially because it gets us closer to the 3X release where we actually start to see lots of good stuff. But that's not to say that there isn't some good stuff in the 2.5.17 release. There are some new features like load balancing, better adoption support. My personal favorite is improved stability for site to site IP site to site, site to site VPNs. I use this feature. Um, there's a lot of other good stuff in here, like adding memory limits for network. My guess is that some networks probably spun out of control. Suricata has been updated, and the baseline access point firmware has been updated as well. I didn't I didn't have any issues with 2.4.27, and I haven't had any issues running the permutations of 2.5 up to this point, including this one. So I would say get get yourself updating. There's really no reason that I can see to, to hold off. Um, it also includes an update to 7.3.83. There's not a ton going on there, but you know, it's nice that it's there. Anyway, that's all I got today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.